Before we get this show on the road, feel free to watch the opposite vlog from Chris's Morton TV. Link is in the description as he has sent in his prediction. Hey Gogsy, thank you for letting me on your channel. My prediction for the match, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Morton. Morton's on a good long of form at the moment, so uh, yeah, I think you, you use some beating in 6. We are about unbeaten in 12. Hopefully we continue, Morton continue. I'm going for a 2-1 Morton. In next week's edition, Chris is going to tell us the lottery numbers. Morton away, huge tie. Prediction, 3-1 win for the well. <laughs>
So at half time, it is absolutely Baltic here. Like, I've never imagined myself to be so cold, but there's no, there's no like stand cover. But um, I can't complain about the score. Water being the better side, and yeah, I mean they are used to the conditions here. They used to the tight park, and like, I mean the park's too tight to actually play proper football. We have to stop with the long ball because every long ball, if it's a flick on, then it goes straight to the goalie. So we just have to play intricate passing and maybe hit a few shots from distance because we've not really tested their goalkeeper and you know, the one time you know, Kelly was properly tested, well, he did. He made an arse of it, let's be honest. Here we go, second half, we're about to kick off, it's going on the way up. coming on for Peyton and Miller. We need to go now. Jack Vale has been at the centre of everything good for us going forward since he came on. 2-1. I don't know how long's left. But we've got one back. Uh, I kind of don't want it, it to be extra time because it's fucking freezing. Who's that? 
Time we're out of the cup, we completely deserve that. They've got fireworks from reaching a cup quarter final. Considering how much we've improved over the last month or so, I mean, this is the first time we've lost in 2024. Uh, and considering the form we've been on, like everything that happened pre 2024, and then all of a sudden. We started playing better and then we got a bit of a consistent team. I didn't foresee this performance and the same probably goes for a lot of people who maybe even be watching this vlog. I am so tired of the bullshit. <laughs> the constant, absolute nonsense that this team puts me through. On Tuesday night, yeah, it was a different situation, but it was a fantastic night. It was a flawless performance. We went from... Potentially the best performance I've ever seen under a Motherwell side to probably one of the worst. I would put tonight in the category of Sligo Rovers, Albion Rovers, those kind of defeats. Because, well, yeah, Morton were on like a 13 match run without a defeat. And it's probably not a shock as much that they've won tonight. But still, it's, it hurts. It really hurts. I wasn't at Wraith Rovers last year when we lost. 2,000 Motherwell fans made the trek. Or it's not much of a trek, but made the journey out to Greenock. In howling conditions, my hands were frozen and I still vlogged. And I, I still cheered the team on, no matter what the score was. And they do that and they provide one of the worst performances like they didn't give a fuck honestly like it took us until being 2-0 down to actually start playing and that was when we made the changes if you're 1-0 down at a cup tie you don't wait 10-15 minutes to be 2-0 down to then go and make the changes you have to make the changes at half time because that gives you the best possible option to get back into the game oh god i'm I'm no a licensed coach or whatever, but even I could see that. But fair play to Morton. They completely deserved it tonight. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm hurt. I'm hurting after tonight. But, uh, yeah, we move on to Wednesday when we play Aberdeen away. It's, it's not going to get any easier. We've won two league games in... 23 matches and our next three are Aberdeen away, Hearts away, Celtic at home. Easy nine points coming up <laughs> for everyone else but us. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later. Take care. Take care.